Hello. Uh, in this segment of the tutorial, what I wanted to cover is calibration. Calibration is very important. We usually recommend running a calibration process on a daily basis before you start using uh, the dispenser uh, for the day. And what calibration allows you to do is to fine tune the accuracy of your medication being dispensed. Um, it is a very simple process. Uh, usually manual pumps need to be sent out for calibration periodically. In our case, the methadone dispenser has a built-in calibration routine uh, that could be run as many times and in as often uh, as you wish. So uh, let's go and see how we uh, calibrate the dispenser. So there's a dispenser calibration tab uh, that you'll notice and we click on that tab and there will be a calibrate dispenser button. Now when you click on this button, uh, there's two data points that need to be provided. Uh, the first data point is how much would you like to dispense as part of this calibration routine. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to choose a small number such as dispense uh, 10 mils of volume of uh, the liquid. And this could be uh, the medication as well. So when you click on calibrate, what the dispenser will do is dispense what it considers 10 mils. Once that process completes, when the dispenser completes dispensing, uh, you need to capture the volume of liquid that has been dispensed in a measuring cylinder. What that allows you to do is to manually look at the value in your measuring cylinder uh, to confirm whether what the machine thinks that it has dispensed as 10 mils, is that actually in reality 10 mils? And should that not be the case, then this is what this reading uh, stands for. You are going to dispense 10 mils of liquid and once a dispense is completed you are then going to enter the reading from your measuring cylinder on what it actually dispensed and you can run these as many times as you wish so let's do the dis the the calibration so i've chosen 10 mils i'm going to click on calibrate and it actually went and dispensed. And when I eyeball it, it definitely is 10 mils. So I'm going to enter 10 mils over here, and I'm going to say OK. Now, once that calibration routine is completed, I'm going to click on OK and you are prompted back to the calibration screen. And the purpose for this is, is that usually if you do not in reality see 10 mils in your cylinder, what you need to do is that you need to run the calibration again and again. What we recommend is running the calibration routine three times in a row, and that would pretty much fine-tune and narrow down uh, the calibration process uh, accurately. So that's what's involved in calibrating. Once you're done calibrating, uh, you can just click on close and you can run this as many times, like three is what we recommend, but nothing stops you from running it 10 times or however many times you wish and however often you wish. So once a calibration routine is done, we're going to click on close. Now the beauty about this is that whenever you run a calibration routine,
and what you can do is you can actually go to the reports and log and what you can do over here is you can actually search to confirm your calibration log so I can see that I did calibrate today for 10 mils and as well as one mil so you say the same thing for a flash log or even if you want to search any prescription so well, what um, uh, the capability of reporting and logs uh, will be demonstrated in a follow-up video uh, well, it start for uh, today's uh, uh, tutorial I will be covering this in depth uh, in the following videos but hopefully we've given you a good idea on how to run the calibration routine and how to calibrate for accuracy uh, of your dispenser. Okay, thank you very much for spending this time with us. And uh, uh, should you have any questions, uh, you can either uh, reach us via email at info at methadonedispenser.com or you can get more information at www.methadonedispenser.com. Okay, thank you.